Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. What is up, everybody? This is Coil Class Live Show. Coil, Coil Class is a live video series I do now on Saturdays at 5.30 since the coils are getting a little difficult. I need more time. I need more time to prep. How's everybody doing? Tonight we're doing uh, Super Stags or Centipedes. I just had pictures up of them. The pictures that were in the beginning are what we're doing. Um, I could show another one actually if you want. Oh, actually. Yeah. What was in the thumbnail basically is what we're doing. This is it right here. Boom, super stag. So it's a stagger tin, but it's got um, more frames, more fusing. Uh, how far are we getting this? I don't know, but I will give you the basic gist of it. We'll get at least, you know, uh, the frames or something on. That one's that that one's a long one that you got there. This is a, a this is a pretty complicated build. We ain't doing it like that. That's uh but I did do them live. I did do them live. So there is a video of me doing them coils, but that would take too long. So we're gonna do one that's a little simpler than that. So it's basically a stagger tin with a couple frames, a couple fuses. How's everybody doing today? We'll get started. Um, the build-off video should be up a little bit after this video. I have very little left to do in the editing of that. Very little. I had to stop to... Uh, I was watching TV today. Watching The Witcher. Got up to the sixth episode. Finished it. Um... So I am almost done that. So it'll be up a little bit after this. Um, I don't know what I'm doing tonight besides I'm watching the fights. I might go on wire, talk with Big G for a little bit, like from the beginning until like an hour. And then I might have to cut out to go watch the fights. Um, yeah, other than that, we're just going to get to it. I have... Um, 
I think what I would like to do is use some, we're going to use 0.4 ribbon just so it's easier to see. It's going to be easier on me to do that. So 0.4 ribbon for these super stags. And I think I'm just going to use, the smartest thing to use for these is like 40 gauge. That would be, that would be my best bet is to use 40 gauge wire, which I got some right here. 40 gauge from Wire Optimum. Lightning Bakes has a sale right now, 30% off sale. That's an awesome sale. You get these spools for very cheap, less than $20. It's, it's pretty cheap. Um... I have another spool of 40 gauge here that's throwaway wire we could use. So, uh, a lot like a stagger tin, you just start off staggering some wires. With these super stags, I usually like to start off with six ply. You could do four ply, you could do whatever ply, really. I like starting off with six ply of ribbon for the initial. You want these things super clean. It's just going to make life a whole lot easier if that first stagger is very clean. So the getting the ribbon ready, the uh, staggering is all stuff that we have done before. You're still going to see me do it. But if I have videos just based on just staggering ribbon and stuff. So if I don't hit it, it's not because it's not important. It's because we have went over it a lot. And, you know, this deep in coil class, the first part should already been known how to do um but this is a good one to do near pitchforks because they're kind of a little simpler than pitchforks um but they are um they will help you in your staggering of other wires so How's everybody doing? I have no clue how many people are here. I have the chat up. Um, I see that Bones the Skate is here. What's up? Falcons is here. Gravel Throat. What's up? Jerry Lawrence. What's up? Kim Dixon is here. Hey, Kim. Uh, Clayton Von Kludge. Michael Stonger. Stogner. Uh, R-B-M-K-I-I, -I. Simon Dearden, Trevor is that one person, Wire Talk with Big G, I see Enigma Vapes pop, popped in, Black Cat White Face just popped in, anybody else want to pop in, pop in bitch, come on in, come on in, Anthony Lay, Anthony Lay, man, anybody else? You say something, you'll pop on my parkissa pants. We got some biker gangs out front, apparently. That's what's up. All right. Who just came in? Ian Anderson, what's up? All right. Let's get this shit started. Oh, who else came in? Effie Wire. What is up? We got we have a pretty full house now. Good. Okay. I don't know how many people are here. There's a lot of people in chat, though. That's cool. Dave and Gore's here. I don't know why he didn't pop up on the participants list. Wire Talk with Big G. I think I said hi, too. Yeah, I don't know why some people don't pop on this. All right. V dogs here. Let's do it. Let's take my mat up. Actually, maybe I'll leave it down upside down. All right. Do this. I don't know if I like this. This mat, I had to clean it one time, and now it's like kind of stretched out. I may have to get a new vape mat for myself. That and. I'm not a fan of all the little white marks, so I get a marker. I did wash my hands pretty damn good today, man. The combination of me being live, showing my hands a lot, and being in construction is definitely not the best combination for a YouTube 
the videos that I can think of. So, there's that. There's definitely that. Alright. Now we're good. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright. So, you're a hand model, yeah. Scott sells watches. And he's a hand model. Apparently, he's a hand model. Okay, that's cool. First, I'm going to start off by getting a couple pieces of... I got marker on my hand. Damn it. I'm going to start off by getting like a piece of 40 gauge off of this spool. So I have something to wrap my wires with. All right. And then I'm going to get my 0.4 ribbon. I'm just using Canthal 0.4 kidney puncher brand <coughs> what's up Alex Perkins all right let's do this so I want three pieces of this at like 16 inches so I'm gonna take one piece I'm just going to guess 16. We'll see how close I get at the end. Let's see how, how close I am to the 8 inch after we stagger it. How about that? Let's see how good I actually am. Let's put my name to the test. What's up, Zeon? Mr. Pebble? Cool, cool, cool. Congratulations, Scott, on your hands of an angel. All right. Blame it on the cat, Bones. Blame it on the cat. Mm-hmm. All right. Cut that down. Take this. Fold all three pieces. Or just fold one of them and then do the other two. Come on. All right. After I fold all three pieces, get my fingers in the middle, pull away from each other, it'll put a kink in the ribbon. Get that all stacked up. Anybody that's watching that's not in chat, what's up? Ohm Improvement, I seen you were here. I don't know if I said hi. Um... kink in the wire and now I'm going to wrap it with 40 gauge at the top here make it pretty tight pull that 40 tight and now I can cut the 40 clean off of there so now I end it with my loop it can focus whenever it wants I'm not even going to rush it I'll stay here all night. I'll be here all night, camera. There you. Then it's gone. Okay. Whatever. It's a loop. Run my fingers down a couple times. I have this little water squonk. It says Menda on it. And it says, this is like an inkwell, I think they call. Dora Static. I think they're like six bucks if you just look that up. I think it's called an inkwell. That's a four ounce one that I have. It's probably all you need. That four ounces lasts me like a year. All right. Now I'm wrapping up the ribbon below the loop a couple times. Cut that clean. I'm going to take the wire run it all the way down to the end that 
that's what happens when fireworks are legal in Philadelphia. We put them off all night. That's right. We put them off all night, the fireworks. So, congratulations, Philadelphia, on the legalization of fireworks. Well done, sir. Now kids could get them everywhere, and I ain't mad at it. I hope they don't blow their fingers off. <laughs> Wouldn't want that to happen. I sure hope kids don't blow their fingers off playing with fireworks. Hmm. I wouldn't laugh at that. Builds character. Alright. Hot glue on top of both of these 40 gauges. First I do it on the loop side. That's the loop side. I put hot glue over it. I got purple hot glue. Because I'm feeling a little gay tonight. No, I always have purple hot glue because purple. Oh, there you go. More fun. What, what's to Oh, we're still celebrating Martin Luther King Day with fireworks. That's what we're doing here. I forgot. Martin Luther King Day was Monday. And we're going to celebrate with fireworks on the weekend. Okay. Frank Haskell, what's up? Cheech is here. The most hated man on the internet. <laughs> I'm kidding, Cheech. I only said that because you said it. This is some good vaping. Okay. Now, we are going to get <sighs> we're going to pull the ribbon away from the swivel after we hook it on, and that's going to pull all the ribbons tight. I'm going to get my ceramic tweezers. I'm going to make sure my ribbon's stacked real nice. I kind of pinch it on both sides as the hot glue dries. I probably could have heated that hot glue a little more because it dried pretty quickly. I'm just... Making sure this is all straight. All day babes here. What's up? Okay. All right. Now we are going to get our drill. And we're going to get, let me see this, is this charged? It's not, but this one is. Let's get a charged battery. here a bit and another thing I'm going to need is I use two spools of 40 gauge to parallel Clapton and I use oh. I hope that them firework people don't have a lot of money because they're going to be going off for a while. I hope they don't have a lot of money. Because I don't want to hear that for much longer. I get two bags. Two plastic bags of plastic Ziploc bags. And these are just like an extra set of hands, really. So I take... 
the 40 gauge, I pop it in the bag, and as I pull, you see it's turning. All right, and then I close the bag just a little bit so the spool can't come out, but there's a lot of room for the wire. All right, and I drop, oh, that tape is messing me up one second. I have a piece of tape on the spool to hold the wire. I'm gonna take that off so it doesn't hold me up. Now I'm gonna drop this one between my legs here, all right? I'm gonna weigh down that 40 gauge with the lighter real quick. And I'm gonna take my stainless steel, my good 40 gauge, all right? Cause one of these, the first one is gonna be the one I take off of my par parallel clap and, and same thing. Get it in the bag with the wire coming out. I pull up, the spool turns. I put that on. I have two legs. Some say three. No, I got two. One, two. One in one spool in the middle. One on this side near the swivel. And then I go and take the 40 gauge. And I kind of get them together here. So are they still together now? Okay, so they're right here. And I'm going to make sure they're both the same size. And I like to clap them in the forward rotation clockwise. So I'm going to take the ribbon and near this hot glue, like right before the hot glue, I'm going to start wrapping it clockwise and hit it right over that hot glue and this is going to give my drill a little bit more to grab onto all right so I, I got like three wraps around the actual ribbon and like 10 wraps around the hot glue and then i'm going to get it as centered in the drill as possible pull tight as i put it into the drill Close the drill up as much as I can like that. Make sure my drill's in the forward. And I'm actually going to start the drill on slow. Now, I have um, I have glasses I use. Which one has the light on them? This one has the light. That's all I really need is the light because both all, all my lightings behind me is in front of me so I can't see really with these lights so I do have this thing I could probably whoa I guess that'll work for now now where is my monocle I could just do this do that. Hmm. Seems like a lot to concentrate on. Uh, I would say screw it and not try to find these, but the fact of the matter is, is for this build, I'm probably going to need my glasses. I can't see out my glasses. And I am all tied up right now. Alright, whatever. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just do this. I'm fine at this part. So now we're going to parallel clap, and so I'm going to get two both the wires in my hand, bring them close together, make sure they're not twisted. And I start off slow, and if I have to push back with my nail, I will. But I'm just...
which it doesn't matter in the beginning if I don't do a good job. But what will matter is if I don't do a good job the whole way up. I could really use... All right, whatever. This is what we're doing. We need to get up. We need to get up and look. There they are. Now, the better you see, the better. And I like holding a lot of tension on this, on this wire. So when I'm holding a lot of tension, it's gonna pull this down, which you don't really want. So you gotta pull tension on the drill as well. Now, what's gonna happen if I do that is I'm probably, I'm probably gonna do this. I'm, do, I'm gonna do this on purpose. I'm probably gonna do this and pull it out of the drill. So after I get some of it wrapped, this is small wire to fit into a drill. After I get some of this wrapped, I'm going to bend it up on the proper side. So don't bend it the point one side, bend it on the point four side. So I bend it up just like I would round wire. Now that some of it's clapton, I don't do that in the beginning because it could really mess you up. But after some of it's clapton, I could do this and it should hold the form of the ribbon and now when I pull on it tight, I, it shouldn't go nowhere, you know. Okay. I guess we could go close up for a second, even though there isn't really much to see here. But we'll see on my close-ups. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Devine. got to start getting serious about this. All right, once I feel like I got the proper angle and I'm doing everything right, I'm going to turn my drill on fast. I don't usually like stopping in the middle of these, but since there's nothing else to see here until I'm done, I'm going to move it. But usually I like to just go the whole way, let her rip. So I just got to make sure that I get back on the right track here. started overlapping right here so I stopped even though I'm pretty much at the end anyway so I'm going to reverse back to where it was good and I'm going to try to fix this real quick All right, 
So, I got two wires at the end coming down. Here's a swivel. All right, so I got one, two wires. Now, th there's a specific wire I want to leave on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find which wire. I'm going to run it up from the spool at the, at the floor. So I know which one I want to cut off and which one I want to keep. So basically what I'm going to do is the one I want to keep, I'm going to cut that clean right there. The one I want to take off, I'm going to pull. Now, sometimes it'll get in front, okay? It'll be in front of the wire. So this is something you got to watch. It's going to start unraveling it the wrong way if... The wire you grabbed is in front of the wire that you want to take off. Nope. This should do it. Nope. Alright, so in this circumstance, when it's going to keep doing it, this will really mess up the wire. So in this circumstance, what I'm going to do... is I'm going to cut the one that I'm going to be taking off, cut it, but make it longer. I'm going to grab the shorter one that I want to leave on, put the drill in reverse, and get it the same rotation as this one. I'm just going to maneuver it so I get around it, which would be better if this guy was angled that way. And there you go. So if that's happening, take care of it immediately. If the one wire is pulling the other off, you got to untangle them. And now... going to leave us with perfect spacing behind Pull this off the same angle it went on, which is pretty straight. off and now we are left with just a nicely staggered ribbon stack 40 gauge wire 40 gauge spacing
All right. Now, what we're going to do, next step is pretty easy. Pretty easy. Easy stuff. We're going to, let's see how much of this I've got, first of all. Come on. You, got, you can't, what? That's eight inch, dude. Exactly. What? Say what? right here all right I've got our ribbon stack staggered I could throw that on the table real quick now what we can do is get more ribbon. I'm going to get two pieces off that are two times the size of this. So this is our ribbon stack. I'm going to put two pieces on either side. You can do as many pieces as you want though. You can even do, instead of 0.4 at this point, you could do 0.3 at this point. Even if you use 0.4. You could use all 0.3 for this build as well. I'm just using 0.4 <clears throat> so people could see it better on camera and so that it's a little easier for me. Two pieces at 16 inches now of this ribbon. I'm going to grab these two pieces. Bring them up. Fold. And I'm going to put it right over my loop, them two pieces. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just framing the six pieces of ribbon with two more pieces of ribbon. Easy. You just want to make sure that it gets on there good. So I'm going to take it up here, wrap it. And actually, after I wrap it a couple times, I have this hot glue kind of poking it out. And I don't really like that. So I'm going to actually heat the hot glue a bit. And then pull tighter with my 40 gauge. And that should close it all in and glue it together at the same time. Okay, David R., what's up? Mighty Zoidberg, I don't know if I said hi to you yet. All right, now that's done. And then what I'm gonna do is carefully run my fingers down to the middle, make sure everything's in order. And I'm gonna wrap 40 gauge around the middle Just like I space wrap it and I only space wrap it like four or five times. Leave a little on there so it's able to be taken off in a bit. some water to make sure that these ribbons stay where I want them to. So 
And once again, this build isn't like super hard. It's just time consuming and very repetitive because I like doing them a lot. They look super cool when they come together. But all these steps are pretty much the same. Because you just keep doing this. You fuse a couple on, then you add two more. You fuse them on. As long as you make the spaces you need. My ribbon is too long down here. get this on the swivel because I need to pull some tension to get the ribbon how I want it and I need 40 gauge 40 gauge is my favorite to prep with because it's thin enough to where it doesn't intrude on stuff next to it and it's thick enough to hold stuff down when you wrap it five to ten times. Like down here now. And now I could kind of pull it away. from the swivel, get some tension on it. Heat up some hot glue and dab it on the end. Got your anti-socialist, what's up? You got your spin LT. that now we get it back in the drill get the 40 gauge that we want to use which is stainless steel and we're going to skip fuse we could either skip fuse i think we're just going to skip one space you could skip as many spaces as you want um like the one that i was showing i don't know how many i skipped for that probably three three spaces so on this one i skip three spaces three wait no i skip two spaces because there's three fuses i skip two spaces on this one so i'm just going to skip one space for the one that i'm doing tonight one two three yeah i only skipped two spaces for that one you, you could skip so many you could skip i've seen people skip like five spaces which is ridiculous, but this one doesn't even have round frames. This is all ribbon. There's no round frames in this build. I'm doing round frames 
So Okay. So All right. What's up, Red Island? Now, where is my 40 gauge? Start it. I definitely got to get close up on this because I almost feel like my ribbon might be a little messed up. I'm not positive yet. Can't be sure. Can't be certain yet. I'll know in a second. No, it's good. My ribbon is good. I got two on each side. They're looking super flat. Super sexy. Super flat. Super sexy. All right. Fabian, what is up? Whoa! This is what I have going on at the moment. Let's zoom her in. Let's zoom her in, Johnny. Your tone's all wrong. <laughs> Let's see if we can get even better lighting. I don't know if we can. And there's the drill chalk. How do you like them apples? Chevy man's here. Boo yeah. I think this juice is almost done. Couple more squeezes. A couple more squeezes. Alex Fried Eggs, what's up? Ohm Styles here. Mike White. You're talking to my guy all wrong. 
You're talking to him all wrong. It's a hard impression. So I probably I probably would have been better off using point three. And you do have to be careful with stuff like this because the ribbon can cut the 40 gauge. But once I get all set, I should be able to go down this pretty quickly. You do want to kind of push it in a bit after you do some. Spacing is good. It should be the same angle going up the whole time. But you do want to keep doing that. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this, and I'm just going to put a musical song on. A musical song. Opposed to a non-musical song. And we'll get this done pretty quickly. So here comes some music. I don't think it's going to be too loud.
Perfect. All right, so, man, I'm more than halfway done. I keep hitting bumps in the road, but I shouldn't be much longer now. 40 gauge takes a while. What's up, David? What's up, um, Tommy Vapors? What's up, Tommy V? Stephen AKM1. Uh, so for anybody that doesn't know...
this is the type of build that we're doing right here. And I'm in the middle of fusing the, I guess you would call this the second part of a three part build. And sometimes when your spacing is just a little off or whatever, you can't do it as fast as you would like. Now, Sometimes the spacing just changes a little bit. And there's also something I could show you when I'm done fusing this that it's good to take notice. Now, my one side is looking like perfect, right? So one side's going to look perfect. The other side isn't because the one side looks perfect. And that's fine. You just want to make sure that the side that's perfect is the side that's perfect all the way up. You don't want to be switching back and forth. One side's good here. One side's good there. No. No. If the top side's good, make sure the top side's good all the way down, at least for a coil length. Alright, now, almost done this. I feel things are really turning around. Just definitely want to make sure you're doing the skip in one space definitely all the way up you don't want two spaces you don't want no spaces you want to make sure you're doing what you set out to do
All right, I pretty much hit my breaking point right there. I said, you know what? We need to move on. And I think I would have enough for two coils anyway. It's no big deal. Okay, so now what we got is... This, so this side, I think, is the bad side. This side's the good side. This side looks super clean. They're all in the spaces they should be in. And then when I turn it around, this one's kind of on top of the spaces it should be in, and that's fine. In order to make that one side look perfect, you have to give up the other side of not being perfect. Unless you want to spend time zigzagging, you can get it into both. But if you want to just do it quick, this will be good enough. All right. again this would be the good side and then that's the bad side there you see how the fuse is kind of going over the other fuse instead of inside Casper Coils, what's up? Gary Zero, what's up, what's up? We are close. We getting close tonight. Boom. Okay. Next step. Throw some frames on it. Throw some frames on it. All right. So we're about an hour into building and we're doing good. We're doing good. I was hoping to do this in like an hour and a half. I'm going to do twenty eight gauge stainless steel frames. So basically, I'm just going to take the wire I have, I'm going to grab some twenty eight. Oopsie daisy. So I'm going to get it all one times the size, two times the size, stretch it so it's straight, cut it from the spool, get this bitch back here, and then this one in there as well. So I've got my 28 gauge, and now fold it we can put the loop inside the loop we can get together like this we're going to get some 40 gauge wrap it up at the top and we can kind of do the same thing heat up that hot glue Wrap it tighter, it should pull it in and glue it at the same time. Put 
hold the 40 until it snaps. Make sure the 28's near the loop up here. Hopefully it's on top. If not, that's okay. Not glue your fingers, sure. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a bunch of these clips instead of tying it off all crazy to save some time on this step. I'm just going to get... Um, I got these things, tones, tones, I hate tones, Clipped up, put it on the swivel. I pull it tight down here, get some more 40 gauge. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Wrap it like ten times. And now I want to make sure that my frames are nice and tight. They have to be the same tightness as the ribbon. You don't want it over tight. Just pull it a little bit, and now I'm just holding it. I'm not really pulling too much tension. I'm just making sure it's straight all the way down. It's tied, remember. And I'm heating up my hot glue, and I'm going to dab it over everything. Pull it tight as it dries. I can cut some of this. 28 off here. It's a bit long. All right. I think I'm going to get my, um, my hand drill for this part just to remain quiet and that's it. Grab that the glue should be dry. Put that down for a sec. I got my 40 gauge here. Boom boom. Wooder. about this Paul wire optimum it's lightning vapes I've been using it ever since I got it every show yeah it's pretty good pretty good pretty cheap they got a sale right now 30% off at lightning vapes you get this wire optimum wire really good price damn good wire man I'm not a fan of their ribbon too much at the moment but we'll see if that changes right now it's okay. It's not terrible ribbon. It's just, I mean, <coughs> ribbon's got to be pretty good to say it's good ribbon. You know? Now, the only thing about these clips is it's always a nuisance to zoom in with them. This is 
what we got. Stand up 3D, what's up, Jesse? Yeah, probably higher resistance, Mike White. It, it should be a tad more powerful, more just battery life. They should be a tad more powerful. Just a little bit. A little more powerful. Um, definitely more battery life. But their output's usually the same anyway. 3.7... All right. Uh, forty gauge. 40 gauge, wrap her up, nice and tight, I'm going to wrap her up nice and tight, nice and tight back. Alright, here we go. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a loopsy doo fighter. <laughs> Not many people are going to get that. Uh, the beginning of these. It's always rough. I bet you could do the two fuses on these too. This is the bad side. That's the good side. Just going into all the spaces. I don't care about the one side. I only care about the good side. That's how a lot of these technical builds get, is the one side you're not going to worry too much about. You'll sacrifice it in order to get one really good side now the beginning of my build isn't going to look as good as when we get past this part this lead i should start kind of picking up the speed making it look cleaner stuff like that um,
make sure if them frames want to roll you got to keep flattening these you just want it to stay flat as you go <clears throat> Thank you, everybody, for the compliments. Thank you, Jesse. I don't see all your compliments, but when I look up, I see them. I'm not one to really go back and watch my own shows. I don't really got time for that. Plus, it's kind of... There's sometimes I'll go back and watch something very rarely. Sometimes I'll get a kick out of something I said and I'll be like, I'll show somebody. I'll be like, look what I said about Anthony Cuomo. Watch this. I said Anthony Homo. <laughs> That's never happened, but it's funny. No Como. Hashtag no Como. Yeah, uh, Sad Boy has good juices. I've never tried the mango. I'm not a fan of mango juices, anyway. I'm a fan of Sad Boy. I like the people that work for them. I like the owner of Sad Boy. I like the way he does things. Super nice guy. Um, no Como. No Como. I like that guy. See, this is bad spacing here. A little open. That This is probably one of the spots where I had to reverse and stuff because the spacing wasn't exactly what I wanted. And you can't see. Cool. Cool. I'm glad you can't see. Fuck y'all. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. You just got you guys are assholes. Oh, you know why? This is probably why. That's another reason why is because my drill got loose somehow. It's falling out of focus. Fix that up. This build might fall out of the drill soon. I could kind of see it, but I'm going to keep going until it does.
Yep. Yeah, it wants to come out of the drill. I gotta fix this. Because it is messing me up. Mixing them up. Hunt some gator. Shoot him in the head. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him. Shoot him. We're gonna go hunt some gator. Shoot him in the head. I love that fucking show, dude. What is it called? Swamp People or something? Where they get the gators? Little Jay Jr. just got a hook in his face. <laughs> Uh-oh, this ain't gonna be good for the gator season. They still got 80 tags to fill. Shoot him in the head! Oh, that's a big gator. That's the monster. Yeah, Troy. I'm not one of them people that talks like how other people talk around them. Like, you know how some white people, if they're around some African Americans, they'll start talking like ghetto and stuff. Or like if they're around Chinese people, they'll start talking like with a Chinese accent. But if I moved down south, I think I would try it. I think, I, I think I'd pass after a little bit. Girl Jess, what's up?
we are getting this is actually going quicker than the first fuse did faux show faux show Fancy seeing you around these parts, boy. I was born on the bayou. <laughs> uh, Chase somebody who do dare. Are you Scottish, Cheech? He said I do a Scottish accent. I do a damn good city boy accent. I do a damn good Philadelphia accent. I wonder how many of y'all motherfuckers just stayed around just because of my funny accent. When to me, I don't have an accent. Everybody else does. Y'all talk funny. Y'all motherfuckers talk funny. I just want some water. I just want some water. Sit on my stoop and drink me some water ice. Some pretzels. You guys are crazy. I could think of a couple people around this neighborhood that if you heard how they talk, they'd put my accent to shame. These guys are assholes. Change some amount of who doing down. I get it, buddy. You like to see homos naked. That's cool. Homo where you make it. You like to see homos naked. Homo where you make it. Look at me, I'm the what what water boy. I got a water spoon. I am reaching the end.
I can't wait. My arms is tired. My arms is tired. My arms the tired. <laughs> that might have been my best one yet. My arms the tired. You got me all wrong. You're using the wrong tone. You talk to me like that again, and I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. I'm almost done. My arms are tired. So hard. Man. Christopher Walken. I ain't even lying, dude. Sometimes I'll get done building my shoulders will be fucking beat, dude. It's usually the... It's usually the one holding the spool, actually. Maybe I'm just having a heart attack or something. Maybe I'm just taking a heart attack. <laughs> Can I get a glass of water? <laughs> I think I'm having a heart attack. It'll pass. It'll pass. Doom, doom, done, ding, dang, done. Eh, er, eh. Lewis Miller, what's up? Man, we had a lot of people here today. How many people were in in this damn show? How many motherfuckers are in here anyway? How many y'all motherfuckers is there anyway? Y'all motherfuckers tripping. Y'all motherfuckers tripping. Chase my old damn. Oh my god. Now, this may be a good one for the pasta roller. I used to roll these all the time. Now this might be this might be a little cool thing to fucking show you. Now check this out. So remember I was saying one side's good, one side's not so good, because you got to make one side good. All right, I don't know how well you could see. I think that's the bad side. Let me flip it over. Okay, it's bright here. Hold on. Okay, we could agree that this is the good side, I think. We can agree that's the good side. And now let's flip it. And that's the bad side. You see this crap? Look at this shit. Now, sometimes when you pass the roll it, those bitches fall in, and you got two good sides. You do want to make sure you wrap the good side going up, right? 54 now? Damn! Okay. That's awesome. Thanks for joining, guys. I'm sorry I'm a little tired. But. Where's my, um. Fourteen. I do what I want. I do what I want. Do what I want. I'm fourteen. I do what I want. Do what I want.
it's got to go to six. I don't know why I always do that. Speaking of pasta roller, I'm having spaghettis. Two times. Okay. Boom. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know. Sometimes the one side will just fall in when you do that. Sometimes. Sometimes I rhyme slow. Sometimes I rhyme quick. Okay. That's the good side, right? Let's flip it around. That's the bad side, but you could see it definitely fell in a bit, right? Look at that. That's the bad side. Now watch when I flip. Suck it. Okay. So we're going to make sure that the good side is marked so I don't wrap it the wrong way. And we're just going to wrap it up, dude. Um, this is, this is three, this is three, this is 3.5. This is 3.5, yeah, watch. Focus. Go ahead, focus. Show the people. Damn. I did that all based on weight. I didn't even set up this table today. I had somebody randomly set up this table. Um, enough said. I mean, we don't have to harp on it. We don't have to think about it. We just know that I know what it is based on weight. Okay. Told you I've been doing this a while. I haven't charged this thing in a week. I promise. I have not charged this in a week. I haven't used it much, but I haven't charged it in a week. I mean, I've only used it. I've used it a lot today. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. I ain't gonna tell you much, but I can tell you that. I can tell you that's right. I know that's right. Can a motherfucker get some glasses? That was a funny song. All I heard was, you tell that ass to get back in that house. Sounds chauvinistic, right? I don't really do anything special to wrap these. I do like usually cutting them in half. Just do it like this. They're not the soup. They're not really hard to wrap. They're like Staggertons. It's got round wire on it, so it's not going to be too difficult. The question is, I never got out an RDA for these, so maybe we'll do the same thing we did last week and install them tomorrow morning. I was actually half thinking that I wasn't going to get these done tonight. There's a four wrap. Chase some bottom hold down. Bone on a pie, yo, ow, ow. Bone on a pie, yo, ow, ow. Remember Swamp Thing? How awesome was that movie? Oh my god, that movie. Swamp Thing 2? Come on. That movie is the shit 
That movie dope as hell. Whoa! See you later. Where did that land? <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm going to try to shoot this. In. I swear. Somebody else saw off this table and put it there. I promise. Oh. My producer. My producer set it up. Who wants to see that view anyway, right? Who wants to see that fucking view anyways? That is good! Tell him what he's won! Tell him what he's won, Johnny! You get a brand new toaster oven! It's quite po- you do know that it's quite possible that these guys are watching the stupidest shit on YouTube right now, right? It's very possible, and I, I congratulate you for finding the channel. I think YouTube has to send me a plaque soon, too. <laughs> I think I almost got a million views. <laughs> I hope they have to. I don't know what else I would have to do. I think it's like, I don't know how many subscribers, maybe 100,000 to get a plaque. I don't know. They might have to send me just an email. Congratulate me for this stupid shit. <laughs> they do send you one like every month though. They send you like a congratulations. You got more views than last month. No shit. Drew just put up a video. Is it a drama video against me? Because if not, I don't care. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a good time to put up a video. Call my ass out. My camera has a heartbeat all of a sudden. Okay, cool. I like how you're focusing and unfocusing every second. That's pretty cool. Cool moves. <laughs> cool moves, bro. Cool fucking moves, bro. <laughs> I didn't think I would be able to do that twice in a row. I've never noticed it do that before. You know what? Fuck you then. Fuck you then. Fuck you then, boy.
All right. <laughs> I'm playing banjo. Shit, I gotta buy a banjo. I'll throw down a mean arpeggio, dude. I'll arpeggio the shit out of somebody. Holmes. Yeah, Holmes. For sure. You think that's a dump my bill? I don't know if I have a dot mod open at the moment. Maybe. Actually, stop fucking around. I would have to find it would be actually good for the dot mod now that you say something. Maybe we'll do that. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. Yeah, it's the Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Got that Limp Biscuit thing going on. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I'll break your fucking face tonight. That's the cheesiest song ever. I got made arpeggio skills, dude. Dude, I went to school for arpeggio. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I went to school for, uh, um, what is it, like music programming, music producing, and then you have to take classical music classes, you have to take piano classes, and then I took guitar, and uh, arpeggios was like one of the things you had to learn. You had to like make a song with arpeggios for the fucking test. Paste. I pissed. <laughs> I pissed. <laughs> can a motherfucker get a can a motherfucker get a beat? Motherfucker, I want a beat, motherfuckers. These motherfuckers are crazy. These motherfuckers, that's my baby brother. That's my baby brother. Motherfucker's gonna get killed. That's my baby brother. Motherfucker, what? Motherfucker, what? All right, it is 7.25. All right. Yeah, I did uh, like one semester of college and then the drugs kicked in. The cheeks tuba, huh? Ooh, what's a cheeks tuba? We watching fights tonight. All right, so why are talk with Big G's on at eight? I'm most likely gonna hang out there for like exactly an hour. I gotta see when dinner's done, but we got a half an hour until then. I'm really, really trying to finish editing this video. I don't have much at all. The hard shit's done. I literally have to like put in like the due date. I have to put in the, you know, uh, I wanted to do something a little different um, at the end. And that's it. And then I could I could probably upload it like immediately. So in a half an hour from now, wire talk with Big G. That that guy in the chat. 
who said that he doubts that somebody set up my bill table this today, which really hurt my feelings. And I'm going to tell you something. So, I'm going to edit that video, put it up, and we'll be on Wire Talk with Big G tonight at 8 o'clock. And then I'm going to watch people beat the shit out of each other. I think I got a, I think I got a, I think I got a fight date with Meter. I think we're going to watch it together. All right. So, I am out of here. Everybody, have a great day. Come hang out. Wire Talk with Big G in a half an hour. Damn near exactly. If you don't have... Did you put the link out there, Big G? Um, I got it. Don't do it. Nobody fucking do it. I got it. Um, where's my subscriptions? Where's my subscriptions at? Where's my subscriptions at? Weird. You, you might should change it to weird talk with Big G. Well, here is... Um, here is actually a link. Did somebody do it? Oh my god, Big G. Add that to the list. There's his channel. Did you put up... Um... Hey, Big G! Actually, um... Big G, we should talk. Would you rather do 5.30? You let me know. I don't know. Maybe talk to everybody. Would you rather do this... 5.30? It seems like you're always here at 5.30, so it would probably be good with you. Um, I wouldn't mind moving to the late. The only, th the only problem with that is, is sometimes with the fighting. But, yeah, I don't know. Everybody have a good night. I'm out of here. This has been two hours of my best material. <laughs> this has been the two best hours of my life. I just gave you the best years of my life. I gave you the best years of my life. I'm out of here because I'm starting to talk stupid like two hours ago. And that's all you guys can handle to tell you the truth. So, I'm out of here. Peace. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Look out for a video uh, coming up soon. Like, within the hour. It should be. And, uh, I'm out.